Hi, I'm Kate and welcome to my channel. So I am about to kick off a week of only Juvia's Place on my eyes. So I currently have five Juvia's Place palettes. I did declutter the Nubian 3 Coral and pass that along to a friend. But I have the Deuce, which is beautiful and springy. I have the Tribe, which is probably my favorite. I have the Festival, which is a nice colorful one. And I have the Zulu, another bright and colorful one. And then, and then I have the uh, um, Magic Mini, which it's like a mix of neutrals and colorful shades. So I think for my look today, I am going to focus on the Festival palette. This is one that I haven't gotten a lot of use out of. I've used individual shades quite a bit, but I haven't really dipped into it as a whole palette. So I think I'm just gonna focus in on this one today. Kind of do a warmer toned look. And now I'm going in with eyeshadow primer and I use the Ulta brand. Uh, it's just the matte eye primer in Nude. All right, my eyes are all primed and ready, so let's dive into some eyeshadow. All right, so I think I'm going to start by going in with this yellowy shade called Oro, and I'm going to focus that just throughout the crease and a little bit above. Now that that is laid down, I'm going to go in with the deep red shade, which is this one right here. It is Izafa. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a really pretty rich red. So I'm going to go in on the outer corner and just pull that through the crease a little bit. Now that we are nice and bold, I'm gonna go back in with that yellow shade and just blend out the edges a little bit. All right, I guess a trend with the tutorials I'm doing is that I always end up going a little more bold than intended, but again, why not? It's not like we have anywhere to go, so. All right, there is this really pretty bright orange so I don't know if we want to go in with that. I do want to use this white shimmer somewhere. Let's cut the crease and maybe put that bright orange on the lid and then top it off with that white. So when I cut my crease, I go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer. I just like the consistency for this purpose. It's not a concealer that I feel like I can use on my face. It dries down really quickly. It's very full coverage, but I find that it works really nice as a crease cutter. All right, so I was just going to do a half cut crease, but we went full. Let's see what happens. All right, I am back with both eyes cut out. That doesn't sound good. All right, I'm back with both of my creases cut out. I think they match as close as they're going to get. So now just kind of trying to determine what I want to go on the lid with. So initially I was thinking that bright orange, but there's also this really pretty like hot pink in there. So, you know, maybe I will start with that pink and kind of blend it into the orange and kind of go for more of a matte look today. So I'm gonna grab the Morphe M421 and what do you think? Should I start with the orange or st You know, I'm gonna start with the orange and blend into the pink. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this orange shade is called Ofala. Oh my gosh, that is bright. All right, wish me luck. Okay, that's actually not as bright as I thought it was gonna be and maybe a little darker. But let's see what happens. Oh, then I'm going in with that pink, Eerie G and blending those together. I like this pink shade. I don't, I don't really like that orange in there. So I might go over the top of it with something else. 
but I'm gonna keep going in with that pink. Right, I guess there's just not as much differentiation from the lid and the crease as I was hoping there would be. So, mm, maybe I'll just layer that white shimmer on top and see what happens. So I feel like I kind of lost the red that was in the crease and everything's just kind of blending together right now. So... I might go in with that red just to dry, try to define that a little bit again. Wow, okay, this is crazy bright. Not sure that it's really my style, but we're gonna go with it and see what happens. All right, so I am going to go in with that white shimmer. So it's just a really pretty white shimmer. It has some opacity to it, but I think you can kind of sheer it out so I'm going to go with that just on the lid, kind of layer it over that orange and pink and okay, so that is pretty. It did kind of take away the orange, but maybe I'll add that orange under the lash line just to kind of bring it back in. So I think that softened it up a little bit and it just added to that cut crease look. So I'm going to go in and do my face and then we'll come back and finish up the eyeshadow. Alright, so while I was off camera, I went in with all of my skincare, my foundation. For foundation, I used the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. It is fantastic, a nice natural finish. I am in the shade 1N0 Porcelain. For concealer, I just went in a little bit in my T-zone to brighten up the center of my face and I used the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Cloud. I added some bronzer. For blush, I went in with ColourPop. This is the Desert Rose from, I believe, the Garden Variety Collection. Just a nice kind of bright springy shade. And then while I was off camera, I also went in and deepened up the look a little bit. I added this shade called Kaliki, and it's like a black, slightly metallic shade, but layered on the pink, you can hopefully see it kind of turned a rich, plummy purple. I just felt like I needed something more on the outer corner there to deepen up the look, and yeah, I like it. So now I want to go under the eye. So I was initially thinking that I would go back in with that bright orange, but now I'm wondering if we want to add this teal. So maybe I'll go in with the teal and then deepen up with that black on the edge a little bit, just to kind of use more of the colors in this palette. All right, so that is bold quite bold. I'm going to go in on the waterline I have from LA Girl. It is a shockwave neon liner in this purple shade, kind of tie in the purple on the outer corner. I'm not loving it, but we'll see. I feel like sometimes when you add a lash, everything comes together, no matter how awful the eyeshadow is, so wish me luck. All right, I'm going to go in on the inner corner with that white shimmer. Alright, so I did go in and I added that liner, I added some mascara, I went in with the Benefit Roller Lash, but I do feel like this look is missing a lash. Alright, so that is the final look. I went in just with an Ardell Wispy. I didn't want anything too big and fluffy for a day of running errands. Um, yeah. A little bolder than I intended, but I do like how it turned out. I also went in and added a lipstick. I have the YSL. This is the Tat Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. Um, I love this formula. It's really soft. You can barely feel it on your lips. I did wear one of these for my wedding. They're just really nice lipsticks. So this was my final look using the Juvia's Place Festival Palette. Again, this is a palette that I've dipped into for individual colors, but it's not something that I have used as a standalone palette. 
I do like palettes that I can use on their own and not have to dip into other things. So I thought this one would be a good palette to kick off my week of Juvia's Place eyeshadows since it is not a palette that I have really used on its own. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.